Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Timberborn. We are mountainless in one corner of the map. I still have all the rest to go, uh, but that took um, a long time. Uh, when we left last episode, we were on circle 67. We are now on circle 81. So, um, yeah, I know there are only 14 day, uh, potentially 28 day cycles at the most, but so 14 day average cycles um yeah um <laughs> that took a long time that took a long time and we have got uh four um uh, four, eight, 12 24 uh 28 builders so yeah however um i messed up on the robots slightly i didn't mess up on them but um uh, i miss um uh interpreted. robots live to be 70 they don't live to be 100 they live to be 70 so um we've got this lovely Lovely little uh, uh, houses um, uh, of uh, all the all the uh, bots working in the holding, doing the things, doing the things, doing a, things, doing a good job, doing a very good job. But yes, we are we are a mountain down. Finally, we are a mountain down. We're also an aqueduct complete. Um, I've still broken this here because um, I need the water can down here because of the pumps and stuff. Because we haven't quite figured out what we're going to do with it yet. But um, I think we're going to kind of work on that now in this episode and we'll figure out the rest later so the first thing i need to do is i think i need to clear out some of this man i think this this is actually fine yeah no this is fine it's fine i need to move these i need to move that and i'm just i think i'm just going to move them i really think i'm just going to move these two over um and leave this platform here maybe seal it off with um levees around it instead so that we uh don't get the bad water below, bad, bad, bad tide below. So, um, but I do. I want to move this over by one. I want to move this over by two, and maybe just stick it behind it to make this smaller. Anyway, it's um, it's just going to sit here like this. I can't make it into like a smooth mount or something because we want to have a bit here for doing it. We we want to we we want to want to do this. I could also dig this out and put these down below, and then have it fill with a reservoir up to the top, and then pour along. That would seem a little weird. It seems a little weird right now because it's just poked up out of nowhere, so I'm not really sure what around to do that. But um, but the reason we need to move it is because if I bring up the tool here, we need to put in a um, block here. We need a three by three reservoir here. Um, so uh, like that. We need a three by three reservoir there, and I can't do that because I can't take out this edge here. Now, I was tempted to turn these off, take the edges out, try and build up some support platforms, and then put levees on top and see whether that would work. I should really try that first, shouldn't I? Let's be honest. Uh, the smallest we can make this is around this one. Uh, so we have to have this. I can't I can't block the land underneath it, obviously. Um, but there's no reason why I can't run levees next to it. Yeah, but... um. But then also I might move it. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what to do here. But I don't want to try the idea of having this go up and maybe have a, a thing on top um, that can uh, maybe put the overhangs or something on top. Because we want to have our three wide channel come in, which is actually going to be five wide. Which So the five one needs to go slightly underneath here. So I need to move this. Let's just move it and be done with it. Let's just move it and be done with it. Let's just develop the tools, develop the tools, pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. Uh, um, let's just move it. Let's just, I'm, 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 go away, go away. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, that's the, um, the, uh, oh, yeah, um, demolish, delete rubble, delete rubble. That would be the, um, things, the, uh, the wells, uh, market resources for demolition, delete objects, delete that, delete that, there we go, boom. Okay, so let's um, put in the bad water sources, uh, I'll put one there, and put one, line it up with the 15 by 15 one, shall we, shall we put it there, boom, like that, so there, two gaps in between them, one gap in between, yeah, there we go, okay, um, and then what I'm going to do is I want to, um, redo this and re recap it so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna recap it so i know i should probably um put the cap back in with uh 
That's interesting. The shadow. Look at the shadow. <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Um, put that there. Put that there. That's fine. Uh, and then all we do is we will run a um, ladder up here. Um, I'm also going to levy off this bit here. So we get rid of that. We'll levy that off there, which means I need to seal this off first. Um, and then we'll shrink this down to here. And I do want to do something with levies because we need to um, let's get rid of that as well. We don't want don't want any any goods. Um, uh, so yeah, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So go go beavers. Do this. Do this. Build this. Build this. Build this. Okay. Um, and have them open as well. So there we go. In the meantime, we can figure out what we're going to do with the levies here. So first and foremost, the first thing we want to do is go to block fifteen which is that one. Let's double check with our thing here. Yep, that is indeed block 15 and delete it because it needs to be a sluice. And it needs to be facing this way. It's too far away from that, but that's fine because uh, what we can do is we can just um, uh, sort of do this. I might have to build a temporary ladder thing for getting this working because be a bit weird. So that's where the sluice is going to go, which means we're going to want to have a three wide things. So we're going to have metal platforms five wide with levies on them. It's going to be three wide coming all the way along here, boom, 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 boom. Um, stopping here and letting the water come through. I don't know if it will fit that way, uh, but it wants to be that way. I don't want to do uh, just three wide platforms and make it a one wide channel because it means I can't let water throw past it because we want to drop off here, we want to drop off here, we just, I can't let water flow past it. But also, um, one wide is bad for evaporation things. So, so what I'm going to do is actually use the uh, the overhang thing that we spoke about. So we want to come out of here. Um, two there that would go there yes like that okay but we're not going to do it like that um this might be the awkward part of trying to actually build this what i need to do is i need to put the three platform down and I need to put an overhang on it like this uh, one of these overhangs on it like this oh yes and then we put the metal platform on top there and on top there and then our next ladder which will be here we'll have the platform face well actually no it'll be here and it'll face that way and here and face that way that's the way we're gonna do it so then we come to this one and then we go one two three four so it'll be there that's on top and it'll do that oh no one more one more okay boom, boom. That's on top. Do that, and it will do that. And then what we do for the um, we run levies all the way down the outsides. Levies all the way down the outsides here. We impermeable floor, kind of the whole thing, almost. But all I want to do is here. We want to remove that one there, and then put a sluice on top of here. Now, I do not know whether sluices block water pouring down underneath them. I haven't checked that. Um, so I don't know whether this sluice is going to let the water pour out from underneath it. I haven't thought of that to even test that. I don't know where I can kind of test that now because these ones obviously pour at the end, but I don't know if sluices have a metal bottom to them. Um, they don't appear to have they let water pour right underneath them if so this isn't going to work go free camera so we can turn the camera upside down yeah yeah i don't know if that's going to let water pour out underneath it i hadn't even thought of that I hadn't even thought of that i don't know if that's a thing or not um how can we test that we can test that here let's um delete this and let's put a sluice in here oh. and we'll prioritize the building of this sluice okay. 
and then we will accelerate time and we will let the beavers build this one because they can get to this one early um or easier should be easier uh we can build this this is fine this doesn't let's figure this out uh dupe and then dupe we might we'll probably seal this off here uh but yeah so come and build this one first please and then we'll wait for the water to come back and then we'll see where it pours out because if it does pour out that means i have to redesign this whole thing like it's not going to work the way i expected it to work so we'll have to um we'll have to see i don't want you building this i don't i don't want you building this at all so let's uh break the um the road so they can't reach it so it's out of, it's out of range they can reach the bottom ones but that's that's not a problem okay so it is built um let's fast forward to the next uh good water and find out okay <clears throat> bad water over to two Go on. and the good water arrives pushing all the bad water away i think a little bit of bad tide might come down here in fact it probably takes a little while for it to flow i've not really checked how long this actually takes to uh start the water flowing again considering how it works it's quite a while it's quite a while it's uh about a quarter of a day before it starts going that's okay that's okay that shouldn't really harm us at all we're doing fine with the uh the, the um the things just happening a little bit there so the um the pups just having what they've got so okay here we go here we go slow down slow down oh that were okay no they do not let water pour out from underneath them but even though they don't have bottoms even though they don't have bottoms don't know how they go to the toilet but they don't have bottoms look look there is there is potentially wow free camera is weird um you can see you can see the ground through the bottom but um yeah <laughs> but okay that's good that's good that helps us now we, we can't well we can't delete this actually this, this does not matter if water does pour have time to pour down that hole look yay um that doesn't matter oh look a whirlpool coming well not a whirlpool but a, it's a sinkhole not a sinkhole either that's completely the wrong wording it's a thing it's a hole it's fine okay so this will work right Ooh. okay Good job I tested that before I it. I should have just built it and it would have been more fun, but um I wanted to make sure. So they built the one ones here. I don't think they can build these ones, which means they can't build the platforms. So yeah. Um I also we can't just go up by one level, we need to go up by two. You can put stairs under here. I didn't realise that. You can't put ladders under there. It would be nice if you could, and the ladders were smart enough to know, oh hey, if I go in there, I just don't have my Excellent. That 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 would be nice to put the ladders in there, but um, I think uh, Zuigi mentioned he was looking at something to do with that. So maybe we could get a way for ladders to go inside these. Not that it would work to get to the top because you couldn't get out the top anyway because it's a solid platform. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so we could put ladders in uh, to get up there to build those. I think we're, i think that's gonna have to happen uh, once they're at the top we can get to the top and build across so they can build the second one that's fine and then the same for here so we just need to basically put a ladder here that's going to be it only really needs to be too high and then the beavers can do the rest from elsewhere so that's not a problem but same here it needs to be too high although this needs to be blown out here so and what will happen here is um we will get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and get rid of that and we will put in sluices here 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 and here like this now this sluice should read it says 5.5 meters so it needs to go down but it needs to go down to the ground and unfortunately the ground isn't deep enough here because we haven't actually built the hole yet so the ladders aren't going to go that side um instead uh explosives are going to go this side because they're far more fun and then ladders are going to go uh, this side I so said two they can stand on top of that they can build that that's fine two will be fine there but there you go and and then this sluice will reach reach down to uh under the ground here and if this pool 
is slightly lower in the water so we'll have it fill up to like as high as it can go uh, like we'll take it down to i'm not sure what steps he's going to so we'll take it down to like 0.9 if it's lower than 0.9 uh we'll open the solution that water through these ones will be letting water through um all the time they'll just be open all the time so we'll just go open and uh open uh, i might set that back to 5.5 so it's just a default and this one is open as well um so the water through when this one isn't where it will close which means these one won't do anything because this one's open the only reason this is here is to stop the water going backwards i could put a levy in in, in its place that would also work we could just put a levy there uh but i don't want to i want to have a sluice there because i think that looks better I think that looks better having those three there like that but and this one will prevent the water from ever overflowing because it will only ever let this fill to uh 5.9 and it's not open all the time it will actually close when it is there if it was open all the time i don't think it can fill above its height anyway i don't think you can let more water through than this then I don't actually know. Yes, it can because you can fill um, tanks. You can fill solid tank like you could build an actual physical tank in the world, and you can fill it from the bottom up. So yes. So now we want to make sure this closes at like five point nine, so this this doesn't ever overflow into the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So where's the next one going to go? The next one's going to go. Um. So there. One, two, three, four. So five there okay oops um we can't actually do that whoa free camera oh it's here uh, free camera is a lot of fun because you can do like this you, you can you can do flybys uh, of your town upside down whoa, whoa. whoa. whoa which is just bizarre but um yeah free camera lets you just do whatever you want to do uh, you can see under the map you can you can look at things and then oh i can see into your houses oh what you're doing Ooh. yeah um yeah, free camera free camera is fun if a little confusing at times um that one Boom, like that and then we do a drop platform one like that like that we need to wait to get to this so i think what i'm gonna do uh considering this is only three wide here anyway uh i think i'm just gonna do uh that not turning it the way around because i've just realized that that's um can't be built only from this side but if there's nothing behind it it'll be fine it'll work fine so. okay okay that'll do that that'll be fine ba -da -ba -da. This one comes along right our next one should be at wherever this one is so what's this one this one is 47 so 47 by 15 grab ourselves an explosive 47 by 15. Okay. and then the next one is uh 15 by 15 which is this one here okay really yeah, yeah, no, that's right, that's right, okay, cool. So, oh, look at that. Boop, 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 boop. picking the wrong size we need the bigger ones one two there put a big one that one boom i think that's about it we can't really go any more forward put in that but we can't do anything else with it at the moment um, oh, that's that's nice because that means we put the five by five on there, and it'll that will cap the end of it. Cool. 
that works. That works nicely. I wasn't playing that. It was nicely. We also need to go this way as well. But this needs to be blown up and lowered down. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to work on this side right now to try and get this working. So this is our uh, sort of our uh, working prototype. Starting with the furthest one away, which is probably a little dumb because. Um, we need to seal this off and let the whole thing pull all the way down to here to get this working. Which means I realistically need to cap this. Um, I need to fill this all in here and start putting some pumps in. Because if we if we drop the water here, um, it's not going to work. We could always uh, build this and open this up and let the water pour into here. Um, and our pumps can then still pump because the water will be pouring into there. That's I think we'll go with that option to begin with. Um, so I want to test this all works before we start doing any major building in here. Um, I also need to figure out where this is. Um, where is this? What's this? This is uh, 111. We figured out. Okay, so 111. That means that one and that one both need to replace with sluices. And then we can build the stuff on top of it. And then the next one's here, which is beyond that way. So we need to replace those with sluices as well. Those sluices. So if I did that now to the 111 ones, um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So if I select that one and I delete that one, I select that one, delete that one, um, and then we will come in here and we will put in sluices. Doesn't matter the water pulls down a bit earlier. Um, that's why we've left the uh, the rivers back here. So. Um, I can't put it in there. No, boo. Okay, so we need to dynamite the life out of this side here. Um, so I can just put that in there so then we could build more into it. So we always need to get rid of all this mountain and stuff as well in the way, but I kind of want to do things slowly. That doesn't actually affect our water. Yes, the water's pouring down there, but it doesn't really affect the river at all. It's it's fine. It's not it's not breaking the world, basically. Um, it'll be fine just being like that. So, uh, yeah, so we need to block these here. Um, I really need to take out like, the whole mountain, but if we blow down to level one to do here, then we can at least put the sluices in. And then we can close the sluices and they can just add that. The reason I need to put the sluices in is because if I want to make levees on top of this to make this a large storage of water, which I got the numbers wrong last episode um, as well. Uh, -ba 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 -do. Um, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. I have my YouTube page open, so I can actually go and look at the comments. Um, uh, if YouTube below. Um, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Morky mentioned that I, I was calculating the uh, the size of this, and um, uh, um, uh, the actual length of it is much larger. And also, I did reply to the comment, and now I don't see my own reply on that comment, which is interesting. Why would you? Why? Why? Why would you not? YouTube being YouTube. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be um, 24 times 5, because it's 5 platforms, 24 platforms long, um, times 8, times 8 deep, which means it's going to be 7,680 metres squared inside here of water. Nice. That should keep us going for a while. So yeah, um, but yeah. so we want to fill this up here, but I need this loose at the bottom because you can put levies on top of sluices. Like that, so we can do that. That's fine. Apparently, that's green, but yeah. So we can put levers on top of sluices, so we can seal them, and they're at the bottom. So they let the water out down the rivers, and they'll down down the, the edges, and they'll be fine here. There. I've also messed up because I put the impermeable floor right on the end, and I didn't want to do that. I want to not have impermeable floor down there. So let's remove all of those. That wants to be technically levees because it's going to go up to the edge of the world. Uh, can you put sluices facing the edge of the world? You can't. Okay. So, um, yeah, but that's going to be levees there, and it's just going to go up and however deep it's going to be. But for now, I think we're going to open this to let it come down here and pour down here. So what I should probably do is have this... Um, if I have this open and the water pouring down here, one gap is not enough to run all of these here, so it will flood. It will flood over. So I need to leave that end open realistically. Maybe seal off a little bit. Maybe put maybe put um dams in there. 
to hold the water back. And then uh sit off there. We're, we're in testing. We're in testing. We're in building and testing phase right now, so we're okay. We're okay. You building these now? You are building these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, uh, we we'll put two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Dynamite out of that. Above that directly, we will put. Levies like uh, sluices like this. Yes, that's correct. Okay, um, and then that's got to read whatever the level is below it. That's fine. And then these ones are just going to be permanently open all the time. Uh, and then we'll do the same on the end there for that thing there. Um, but this will probably need sealing off temporarily, or it won't do because we're going to let all the water just pour off the end here, so no water will get to the end of it. So, yeah. Um, I might do impermeable floors, at least up to that edge there. To there, so the water pours off of this side and doesn't uh, pour onto the land here, causing problems. So, um, oh, careful now, careful! I need to blew you up. Bang, 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 bang! You got blown up. You, you, you deserve that. You deserve that. You foolish, foolish beaver. You deserve that. Look at you. Look at you face down. Ooh. 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 Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Three cameras are a wonderful thing, if also somewhat confusing. There he is. Face down, basically splattered up against the glass. Yeah. Okay. Um oh god. Oh god. Oh god oh god. There we go. Zoom out. There we go. But I should probably turn off turn off free camera. Free mode. Turn that back off again. There we go. That's better. Now we can't do broken things and do weird things, so um yeah. Okay. But you that's your fault. That's your fault. You chose to step into the explosive as they were blowing up. I claim no responsibility from that whatsoever. So this one wants to be point nine. So that means the, uh, the the blue thing is just in here. So it'll fill up to 0.9 and then it'll stop. So it'll keep everything green all the time, which would be awesome. Uh, this will be the same here once we've done this here, but you need to do this and build this here, which should be fine. Um, I need to make the entire top of this whole thing like low priority. Basically, um, actually it can all be low priority. It doesn't, doesn't. So this is anything else that we need to build first. Beavers will go and build it first. And they'll build the ladders as well before that as well. So boom, boom, and then they can build the aqueduct there because we'll get to the aqueduct in the next episode because we've run out of time for this one. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. But it will be completed. I won't turn it on. I will turn it on live on camera and we'll find out what happens with it. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe everything will work. Maybe it'll explode. Maybe we'll have the first actual beaver in space. Who knows? Who knows? I am confused as to why that's well. This one's been filling up because the river's been overflowing. Because I actually narrowed the river to put more trees in. We needed more trees. I put more oak trees in and cut down the uh, pine trees. Um, so this has been filling because the river's overflowing. Does that mean it overflowed enough to come down here to do this? I guess so, because we made it too narrow now or something. I'm not sure. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get this all built. We get it all done. We get it done and boom. We also need to do stuff here as well. Um, these are both done now, aren't they? Yep, they're both done. So we need to seal off this back. Uh, we can shut them down and do stuff with them later. That's 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 a thing as well. Um, but this this is our next project. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave this one here. I have no idea how long this episode is because um, of all the recording of the explosions and stuff at the start. Probably not very long, but um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to let this get built. Um, because it may not have been too long um, of a, a little montage of the start of explosions, but um, even though I've been running the game at four times speed, I've been recording for uh, six, seven, two, two and a little bit hours, so yeah, um, we'll leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.